Don't I'm let the cat to... get anywhere near the I'm jars. Trying. Let him, no, no. 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 They have been sanitized. No. <laughs> they need to be clean from your no. behind. Get out. <laughs> no. No Stanley's allowed in this video. Hello. Today, we are going to be looking at these lovely glass jars. Ooh. And also fermenting things in them. Do you think if we stare at them long enough, the jars will ferment? Didn't work. Yeah, we're gonna ferment stuff. We have fermented hot sauce. hot sauce in the past. And for those of you who don't know, fermenting is the opposite of pickling, I guess? Allowing it to get old. Yeah, instead of preserving things in jars, it's like controlled rotting. Mmm, delicious. But you're not, it's not rotting. It's just like developing flavors and releasing liquids and doing fun food science-y stuff that makes like a better product in the end. So we found three recipes online that we're gonna try. We're gonna get rid of the cat. So we are going to try three recipes. They all have to sit for like, some are a couple days, some are like a week and a half, so we'll have Actually, to... Actually, I have right here this pretty per... No, I don't, I don't have money. We have a real stove. So take that, TV kitchens. Yeah, this is a real kitchen. We are going to do three things. We're going to do a fermented tomato pasta sauce. Ooh. We're going to do fermented blueberries for Ooh. cocktails. Was supposed to be cocktail cherries, couldn't find cherries anywhere, Oops. we bought blueberries. And garlic honey. Ooh which is honey fermented in garlic, and then you use the honey and it tastes like garlic and it's good on food, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, it sounds cool. So we might have to re-sanitize all the jars again because the cat keeps getting his hair in them. Stop. Just sit there and rub your teeth on the camera. Back on the chair. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Oh yes, and we should also mention, don't do anything we do here and think that it's gonna be safe and you're not gonna get sick eating it, because there is a lot of risks with this kind of stuff. I would recommend asking the experts. Which is not us. us. Desirable edible organisms do not support growth or sometimes survival. What the f*** is this? You said orgasms. <laughs> <laughs> Did I really? <laughs> yeah, edible orgasms. Fermentations involving lactic acid are generally safe. In the production of sauerkraut, fresh crabbage is shredded in 2.25%. He said crabbage. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Here's the deal. There will always be some rinks when fermenting food at home. The microbes that produce in fermented foods are experts at growing on fermented foods. These organisms, called the fermented consortium, have been producing fermented foods for ages. So they're really good at outcompeting the microbes that we're concerned about. One death was from lead poisoning because they were fermenting in a ceramic pot that was likely glazed with lead paint. Another was lactic acidosis, a person drinking one liter of kombucha. So basically, make some fermented food at home, but don't drink a liter of it. Oh. What the hell was that? Jesus. Sounded like a dinosaur. Died. If you do see mold, throw them away. Another safety tip is to always keep it below the liquid. Be very clean. We already did. We cleaned it already. We sanitized all the jars. Prevent explosions. Be warned, fermenting food is explosive. We are not going to be using something that is that dangerous because we purchased these automatic fermentation things, which basically let the air out slowly if it has too much air in it. If you are doing this at home, please make sure that you are aware that glass containers can explode we stress the importance of measuring by weight rather than tablespoons. Use 2% at minimum. So I've read know. that before and heard that before. So we're gonna just use that. We're gonna level. use that. How do you ferment dry things? Based off of how much is in the recipe. So including water. <laughs> I caught this gag. <laughs> How much weight? Including water? I would assume. I don't think so. We really should have done more research before we started filming. <laughs> A few moments later. So if it has water in it, include the water. If it does not have water in it, just to do the veggies. Okay, let's start. Let's do it. All remember where we were during moments of great historical importance. And now Merlin's purr. <laughs> <laughs> the loudest purring cat. That's what came up on YouTube. This is why the internet is a dark hole. Sometimes it's a bright hole full of purring cats. <laughs> yeah. Don't put too much shallot in there, unless you want. To. You don't watch It's Alive by Brad Leone. That is the freaking funniest thing ever. I would. Am I wrong to say that this video is really off the rails? <laughs> I, are we even fermenting tomatoes right now? And we're talking. And you're like, don't worry, don't put too much shallots in the tomatoes. So here's the blueberries. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, we have tons of garlic. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, okay. Recipe number one, the blueberries. So this is going to be a salt water brine. Yeah, so okay. we're gonna put blueberries in salty water and that's it. My inspiration was like, we buy like bourbon soaked cherries and like maraschino cherries for cocktails sometimes and I thought like it'd be cool to make your own. So I looked up fermented cocktail cherries. Didn't find much. I found fermented cherries and then we couldn't find cherries. Yeah, I was gonna say the inspiration behind it was they didn't have cherries so we got blueberries. <laughs> Okay, we need to rinse the blueberries. Rinsing! We're gonna just do, I don't know how we do this. There's a recipe right there. Yeah. <laughs> so they use two cups of water for waters. Water. Boil and water with Brad Leone. Two cups of waters for two pounds of blueberries or cherries. We obviously don't have two pounds of blueberries. So let's put our blueberries in the jar and see how much our blueberries weigh. What, it doesn't fit? Well, it's too big a jar. No. Oh. Like this, it's just gonna. So anything that I'm reading for fermenting blueberries, they don't put it in water. They just put them in a jar. One eternity later. So we did some research and we have decided we're going, oh, salt just burped. Excuse me. <laughs> we're going to try just like blueberries and salt. So See I mean, what that tastes I, like. I think it'd be salty, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Let's put our blueberries, wait. Okay, putting the blueberries in a bowl on the scale. We have 173 grams of blueberry. 173 times 0 0.02 is 3.46 grams. Hold it down, don't hold it down forever, just Oh my god, can I show you how it works? No! <laughs> I've made my grave, let me lay in it. We're gonna put the salt in the blueberries. Ooh. Our salt is very coarse, I hope that's okay. It looks pretty on camera, so there you go. We're gonna put the blueberries with the salt into the jar. Very complicated stuff. And then we gotta make sure we get all the salt, as most of it just stuck to the bowl. Now we have this, which is not very full, obviously, but what we're gonna do is put a weight in there. And from what we've read, we just need to weigh them down so that as they start to, to sit at room temperature and ferment, they'll release liquid and they just need to be submerged in their own liquid. Why don't we put the weight and then put the bag on top to like cover the area the weight doesn't cover? Because this is a lot heavier. So we filled a tiny Ziploc bag with water. Water. Can the water come out of the bag or is it sealed? Nope, it's sealed. All right, so that's number one. Blueberries. Ooh. So what we're gonna do is find a spot for these in the apartment. We'll just kind of check up on them every day. Should take about three days, I think. The last step is this lid, which we bought online have a little like air release in them. As it ferments, gas will be released from it, I guess, and it'll allow that to escape and not a, like, cause the jar to explode and us have to repaint our walls because they'll be covered <laughs> in blueberries. Blueberries and glass. But for that fact, we should put them somewhere where if it does explode, we're not gonna have to repaint the walls. True. It just occurred to me, we bought a fermenting kit and have had a book sitting on the table in front of us for the last hour with a guide to fermenting and we've been frantically Googling trying to figure out what to do. Number two, honey or tomatoes? Uh, honey. Okay. Honey. honey. I think it's another easier one. What do we have to do with the honey? It's raw honey. It's hard. Wait. It's raw honey. Ooh, it's raw honey. We have to melt it. Oh. 12 cloves of garlic, one and a half cups of honey, and a jar. We gotta peel this garlic, I'll do that. Okay, I will get honey. Honey? Drizzle this honey over pepperoni pizza. Serve alongside spicy fried chicken or use in a glaze for grilled pork, fish, or add a few spoonfuls to anything you want. Oh my God, the chicken so one sounds so good. Yeah. That is 100% what we're doing. I'm gonna peel 12 garlics. I'm gonna open the honey. Six cloves of garlic. That's not food safe, don't do that. Also don't use your teeth to open things. You're just gonna end up with broken teeth. Oh. Oh. That's not good. Mm -hmm. That's really good. It looks like wax. Can you pass me the next jar we're using so I can start throwing garlic into it? Ooh, not that one. Previously oh. fermented is probably not good. I'm really excited for this one. Me too. Um, I'm gonna wash my hands because I just touched the garbage. This was a poor choice because it is a lot more solid. It looks like icing. It does. Like How much spoon? do we need? A cup and a half? A spoon would be easier. Yeah, for sure. But I have already committed. How are we looking? Well, my hands are really sticky. <laughs> it's not enough. Can you scrape it off the spoon now? We're at a cup and a third. We're almost there. Ah! Stanley, go away. Go away. Keep going. No, no, keep, yeah, there you go. That's fine. How did you open this? Uh, my teeth. Yeah. Again, there are many other things to use other than your teeth. I suggest not using your teeth. All I did was chew it. Yum. Oh my God. Is it good? It's the best honey I've ever had in my life. Honey. Honey? No. Honey! Honey! Mm -hmm. I've never bought raw honey. Oh, it's funny. Or are we cooking it and it's darkening? Ooh, look at the raw honey. Mm. With the garlic. Oh yeah. I don't really know what to do with this one. Do we put a weight on this one, I guess? Like it says, make sure all the garlic gets coated. Although as the honey sits at room temperature, isn't it gonna get less liquidy? Their garlic's all floated to the top, but I don't know if that's just like a photo they took for fun. Cause it does say food styling by underneath it. So. 
but I think that this is probably okay. I mean, you can leave garlic out at room temperature. Okay, so I've just made sure that it's all stirred and that the garlic has all been coated in the honey. You wanna try this? Gently rub the garlic. Mmm, tastes like honey. Recipe number three, wait. We have to put a lid on this a one. Lid. So no wait. No wait. But waiting. Okay, we're gonna wait three days, but this one's three days and then you have to open it. What is he still playing with? He's licking a container for blueberries and it's just being pushed around the room. Are you having fun? Okay, garlic honey. One more recipe, Steven, stay focused. Fermented hot sauce. Nope, fermented, fermented pasta, pasta sauce. sauce. Tomato sauce. Tomatoes, I should have peeled more garlic. That was stupid. Yep. Onion, basil, salt. I just, you know, a lot of them, you know? Time. Time. Like. The number? Time, time's not a number. Time, the date. Time is a construct. Is time a Time is the music that planets make. <laughs> What we should do again is put everything in the bowl, weigh it, and then add the salt by way. Basil, how much basil, how much basil do you want? I don't know, because I haven't fermented it. Oh. <laughs> so I put two leaves of basil. Good. Yeah, do it. Yeah. So do I have to chop the garlic, do you think? Yeah. I haven't cooked at home in so long. Let me say. Me too. So does my stomach. Can you find some like recipes for me to cook? Just like think about food and be like, I haven't had this in a while. Yeah, but when I do that, I think of Popeyes. Yeah, <laughs> and I had it yesterday. <laughs> mm, we fucked up. We didn't get Popeyes today. Oh, the scale's not on. Oh, and then a little bit of onion. What do we have to do with the tomatoes? Nothing. Cut them. Uh, yeah, probably like cut them in half. Just prepped our ingredients here for our fermented tomato sauce. We're gonna do two basil, three basil leaves, two and a half basil leaves, two and a half. Some somewhat thinly sliced red peppers, and by that I mean red onions. <laughs> this is three cloves of garlic, kind of roughly chopped. Boop. All the tomatoes, or do you think half the tomatoes? All I didn't tomatoes. know how many we would need. All the tomatoes. Well, like both, you mean? All the Can tomatoes. Fit in the jar? All the tomatoes. Because. Should we have room in the jar? Not that much room. Cat is way too close for comfort. Stanley, can you stop licking plastic? You've moved on from the blueberries and now you've started licking I don't, tomato containers. I don't know if all of these tomatoes are gonna fit in the jar. That'd be fine. Like this is getting pretty full. Let's stop right now and let's try. We might add more tomatoes. We're not sure how much is gonna fit in the jar. The real question in this video is what does a fermented cat hair taste like? You know we're gonna find out. I did it so that it's 500 grams of total stuff. That means that we need it. And grams of salt. If you don't own tiny bowls to portion things into, what are you even doing? This is the one I'm the most excited about. No, it's the honey. Just kidding. No, it's no, all it's three. No, it's this. Of them. It's this one. It's 100% this one. Maybe we should put the lid on, shake it, and then and then put the little glass thing in it. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's just get a beauty vlogger shot of it before I shake it. Shake it like a jar of tomatoes. Shake it. Shake yeah. it. Like a... <laughs> Beautiful. It's actually so. My beautiful. turn. The shake wine. weight. The shake and weight. <laughs> I was a cat hair Several on my nose. Days. That's why I was randomly just scratching okay. my nose. There. And then we're gonna put our glass weight. Perfect. Oh my God, cat hairs on my nose. Eh. That's beautiful. We got blueberries. Blueberries. Garlic honey. Oh. Garlic's like really floating on top. Is that a problem? I don't know. And tomato sauce. We have to wait. Different amounts for each one. I mean, basically we have to wait about three days for all three of them and then varying days after that. So our blueberries are four to seven days. We stir the garlic at three days. And then wait about a week. The tomato sauce is two to three days. Tomato sauce will be ready first, then the blueberries, then that. Cool. Which is great, because that means that like Monday or Tuesday we'll be able to make the pasta with this tomato sauce. And on your day off, you'll be able to have some delicious pasta sauce. I guess we will see you guys. If, Monday. If anything happens here, and if not in a few days, which for you, is right now. Side note, if you are using anything that does not have these lids, please make sure that you are and and also don't follow our instructions. Yeah, forget that follow side note. Ones. Don't even use this video as a reference for anything at all. This is a video of you seeing what we did and laughing at us, not you learning anything ever. Okay, bye. Quick update about a day and a half later. We've got a lot of liquid in our tomatoes and it smells really good if you kind of stick your nose on the top of the jar here. Our honey and garlic kind of looks the same. Maybe it's got mold on it, maybe it's bubbles, <laughs> but they said to wait three days, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> we'll be fine, I think. The blueberries, Steven and I argued on whether to put a weight or to put a bag full of water in and we decided on both. And it looks like the weight I wanted crushed the bag of water Steven wanted. So now the blueberries are in water, so we don't know what that means. <laughs> We'll see. Hopefully they're fine. They're fully submerged in water, which is a good thing, I guess. But I don't know if that messes up the salt ratio or not. Disclaimer, for COVID reasons, the haircut was done by ourselves. <laughs> we did them at home. Just over so there. people in Ontario, don't leave your house. We didn't leave our house. We just 
cut our hair. It's been three days. It's time for us to decide if our honey went moldy or not and to eat our tomato sauce. Yeah. So the honey, it said after three days to stir it and then put it in the fridge. Are you ready to open it? Yeah. I'm kind of scared. Here we go. We're going to look at the garlic. Also, we're weirdly lit. One second. Is there a chance this is going to explode? No. This can't explode because this one was the fancy jar. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm scared now. It might go. There you go. Ta-da! It looks bubbly. I don't think it's mold. It smells wild. It smells like garlic and honey at the same time. It smells a little bit savory. I don't think it's mold. It's just bubbles. So let's stir it around. Can we try it? Stanley, I do not want cat hairs in this. Why does that smell like garlic? Because there's garlic in it. Of this. Because there's garlic in it. I guess, but like, <laughs> it smells severely like garlic. We've stirred the honey back together, the garlic in it. And wow! it's gonna go in the fridge for a week. Wanna try it? I'm trying it first. I'll try it first. Yep. Oh, it's dripping. You can touch the same spoon. I'm, I'm confused. Like, doing this like it's... Oh, a sticky beard. Oh, it got me. Oh. I taste honey. Yeah, it tastes like honey. Okay. Let's see what happens. Not done yet. I wonder if I was supposed to crush the garlic or something. To release the allicins. Nice crush. You see that bruise happening? That's that allicin. Part two and the more exciting part of today is that we get to eat our fermented tomato sauce for dinner. So this sat for three days. Yeah. Um, Look how much liquid is in there. We started it Friday and it's now Monday. Clear liquid, but it yeah. came out of the tomatoes. So that's the weird yeah, part. Yeah, it's weird. So we're going to open it. I'm so scared. It's not going to... We don't have pressurized jars. Oh, it smells Whoa. like, um, yeah. Pure garlic. But like. Oh, it's the tomatoes, like. It smells deep. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was gonna say intense. We're gonna blend them, and then we're going to try it with some pasta, and that's gonna be our dinner. So should I just take a blender and write in it? No, it's glass. Good point. It smells like a sauce that's been cooking for a while. Here is what it looks like in the pot. Look at all those pretty tomatoes and onions and garlics and yummies and basils and okay, now blend it. <laughs> <laughs> rawr, rawr. Watch, ah. watch your eyeballs. Ah. Ah. It's a massacre! There's tomato blood everywhere! You still have honey in your beard, by the way. I do? This whole <laughs> time I've just had honey in my beard. Honey. And of course, to go with pasta, you've got to have an Italian wine. Is this Italian? Is this <laughs> We're both hilarious. Uh, yeah. Uh, I followed by, yeah. This was like a seal of Italian approval. Oh. oh I've always wanted one of those. You have my Italian approval. <sighs> it's a very runny sauce, but I think that was to be expected. Looks good. It's good. It's not that bad. Well, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty runny. We eat portions of pasta that are larger than they should be. Larger than us. But like, I feel like everyone does that. Voila. Clink. Mm. Mm. It tastes like it's been simmering for like For so days. long. There's so much flavor on that. That was so easy to do. And they're so flavorful. If we were to do this again, more I basil. would try and do, yeah, a little bit more basil. But then I would also do more tomatoes, like more of it. And then I would also simmer the sauce for longer to like reduce it. I didn't want to mess around with it. I wanted to just try it the way for it sure. is. For sure. But I Me agree. Too. It's so good. Definitely worth trying. Mm -hmm. It's so freaking hot. We're gonna go eat mm -hmm. and drink wine. We'll be back to have blueberries to check on. Fermented Tylenol, because you're worth it. Don't, don't, don't do that, please. <laughs> there we go. Don't, don't, no. We're supposed to wait four days for the blueberries. We have waited almost a week. We waited seven days, accidentally. So they filled with water right away, and we thought the water was from the bag that we put in to weigh them down. But you can see now that like it's kind of blue water. So like, I don't know what's going on. I think it was still the water from the bag, but I think now they've fermented in water. And yeah. Might have really f***ed up. Stanley, you have to go away from this because I don't want you to get your cat here in the fermented. No, foods. it's fermented. Every time we put a jar here that we want to stay sterile, the cat jumps on the counter. Is this going to explode? No. I don't know why I think they're all going to explode. It smells like artificial blueberry flavoring. Not if you get really close. To me, it smells like, it's not like alcohol because it's possible to, if you leave fruit to ferment too long, it becomes alcohol. We might have made blueberry wine. Ooh. <laughs> not good. <laughs> be fun. Not good though. Can't smells great. You're gonna let them smell it? Look at the color. Here, though. smell it. You can really see the color now that <laughs> I've taken the bag and everything out of it. Do we just try them? Yeah, I think so. This was the like real one-off. We didn't know what this was gonna be. They don't smell like they've gone bad, which I think is a good sign, right? Yeah. They're sour, slightly sour, like a Concord grape. But it feels like this is sweeter. Well, we put them in salt, so it shouldn't be sweeter. <laughs> Yeah. You think it's sweet? I think it's very like salty and kind of sour. Yeah. It doesn't taste like it's gone bad sour. It tastes like a grape that's sour, if that makes sense. Oh. Oh. Was that bad? Was it salty? I got one that was really sweet. Another one. Oh. Maybe we shouldn't be really eating this mold. Is it? Or is it salt? Or is it just blueberry? I don't know. Oh, it's gross. I don't like that one. Like what? Like sour. Like really sour and salty. Maybe we should just throw them out. Maybe we just messed up. Maybe. Okay. Well, failed experiment. Or should we put them in the fridge and see what happens? No. 
What's going to happen? I don't know. <laughs> I just feel bad wasting them. Well, let's keep them in the fridge because some of them are good. I had one that tasted like a sweet blueberry and then the rest have tasted bitter so and salty. Try the liquid or is that like really bad? No, no, it's just brine. It'll be salt. <laughs> well, so far the pasta sauce was a huge success. The blueberries were a medium failure. So hopefully the garlic <laughs> is a huge success. Okay, <laughs> medium failure, sure. Yeah. Hi. We are back. It has been a week, a week and, and, a bit. and a bit. The last thing remaining is our garlic honey, the one we were the most excited about. Hopefully it works. There's chicken frying behind it. Ooh. <laughs> so let's Let's open it. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Looks scary. It smells great. So because it's in the fridge, it's like solid honey. So we're gonna scoop some out mm -hmm. and microwave it a little bit and then see how it tastes. Is there a garlic in there? Yeah. Oh, no, sure. I'll put it in there. What about honey garlic? It's garlic honey, but what about the honey garlic? All we did was make white people's favorite wing flavor. <laughs> Here, I have two spoons that have it on it. Do you wanna try cold? Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm. It tastes like both honey and garlic. But like when we tried it before, it didn't taste like garlic at all. We are in a completely unrelated adventure. Are making fried chicken for dinner. From, well it's up there, but Cook This Book by Molly Babs, which I'll put here. We thought what a good time to try our garlic. When I was little, I used to have chicken nuggets from McDonald's oh, yeah. and I would have it with honey because that's a thing in Canada. And I, one time, my family got in a car accident and the only thing I remember is bawling while sitting on the hood of my car eating chicken nuggets and honey. Fun memories to last a lifetime. Got a whole plate of chicken. Mmm, chicken. Okay. This one's been sitting for a while if you want to try sure. it. Sure. So we've got our slightly warmed up honey. We also haven't tried this chicken recipe yet, so hopefully and it's good. And it looks so. amazing. Amazing. Blink. Wow. The chicken's really good, but the honey is really good. What a standout flavor. It tastes like honey, but like savory. I would almost pack more garlic in there, but I don't know if that becomes dangerous with the fermenting, but. No. Wow, is that good. Does this take you back to your childhood, but mm -hmm. with garlic? Mm-hmm. What a success. Except just forget about the blueberries. Yeah. <laughs> so. You should try fermenting at home, but you should do it safely and not follow any of our instructions. You should find better tutorials. Mm -hmm. You should take a look at Brad Leone from Bon Appetit. But tomato sauce, Amazing. I would do again. This honey, totally would do again. Amazing. The blueberries, we'll figure it out. I don't think so. I think I'm never <laughs> going to ferment a fruit again because okay. that was just gross. <laughs> well, we're going to go eat our chicken. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching. Thank you for following along on another weird adventure that we decided to do and film. Check out Molly Baz's cookbook. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll drop a link to buy that on down below for this chicken recipe that's really good. Comment down below. Oh, do that too. What kind of food do you want us to ferment next? <laughs> Let us know. What should we leave out on our counter in a jar? Yeah. What do you want us to try that's bad? <laughs> and we will see you next time. Next time! Bye! How am I supposed to put the little thing in the end? You've shot it off the camera before I'm done with it.